<laughs> now we're cooking. Exactly. Same good thing you had the apron on. Yeah. This protects me from the flames. <clears throat> the American food system wastes about 20 pounds of food per person per month. That's as much as 21 pound bags full of food. One way to help people waste a little bit less could lie in novel food combinations created by a supercomputer. We're here in the Bon Appetit test kitchen at a One World Trade Center. We're testing out Watson. I'm most interested in this as a point in minimizing food waste. Why'd you decide to develop Chef Watson? We originally developed Watson as part of this demonstration of our natural language processing abilities. We built the system that could uh, compete at the game show Jeopardy and win. This is Jeopardy, the IBM challenge. Watson, what is Chew? You are right. Shortly after that, a bunch of scientists and researchers asked the question, what's next? Why not pick an area that everybody can relate to? And certainly everybody can relate to food. We all need to eat. We do. So the 10,000 recipes um, that were uh, published in the Bon Appetit were all ingested into Watson. Well, when I think about who I should ask for a good recipe, I think a computer. But computers are the new brains. So you can go to a website and type in whatever random food you have left in your house that's about to go bad, and Watson will spit out a recipe for some way to combine that food before it rots. So uh, you've come up with something today for us right. that's an example of how we can combine things we might not normally think to combine. When I was playing around with it, I had friends that you know, was like, tell me what's in your refrigerator right now. And I would just plug it in, and then Watson would tell me what I could make out of that. So what is the flavor combination? The three kind of crazy elements in the stir fry are rye whiskey, apple cider, and plantains. Try it. Yeah. These are fried, so they read like chips. Yeah, it tastes like a potato chip. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. just get rid of all this and just eat the fried plantains. Okay. Video over. Yeah. I wonder if Watson likes plantain chips as much as I do. I like a chef who has personality. Is Watson more of a Mark Bittman or more of a Paula Dean? Watson is more of a... Um, it's more of a regular person in that... More regular than me. And, and yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who is, you know, kind of not necessarily in chef lights, but more in regular clothes and is standing at their fridge just trying to figure out, what am I going to do tonight? Like, like how am I going to put dinner on the table? what the hell? This is so much weird stuff. It Why is. did I buy this? Dinner what am I going to do with it? I can't throw it away because I have so much guilt already about the wasteful life that I'm living. Yeah. And am I even productive to society at all? And then with stir fries, you want to just keep them moving? Whoa! Hot carrots. Um. Very impressive, I'm sure, to house guests. It is. It's kind of fun. I have all kinds of house guests. Well, you should try this. Huh. Just add that in. Watson just said plantains, Plan plantains. and you decided, oh, why don't I fry them? Okay. Cheers. Is this a thing? It is now. We just started. It's called fork toast. To me, Watson looks like Santa Claus. I can see that. Especially at the holiday time. Mm-hmm. Giving a gift of creativity and minimizing food waste. Does it do any one ingredient things where you're just like grapes and it says grapes? If your dish type is fresh fruit and the ingredient that you provide is grapes, it'll say grapes. 